Hello and welcome, welcome back everybody. Um, this week's theme is tropical. So we have this super cute little tropical toucan. Last week was all about symmetry. This week is all about pattern. So we're going to be using some really bright, fun colors. We're going to be doing some really cool patterns. So this one's a cool one. Let's get to it. Let's take a look at what supplies we have. We have our paper. Let's put that underneath our canvas so we don't get anything else painty. We have some brushes. We have a large, a medium, and a small. It's my large one. That's my medium one. That's my small one. I also have a little dauber that's gonna help us make polka dots in our background. And as always, just in case you need it, glitters. We also have our palette of paint. Um, top plate is going to be mixing plate. So I scoop some out. I'm gonna put it on my mixing plate. And then these are my colors this week. So we have white and black. We have kind of a neon green, um, a darker yellow, hot pink, red, purple, blue, and this kind of dark green or teal color. I also have my paper towel to um, dry off my brushes and my little water cup to wash off my brushes. So I'm going to take my biggest brush. I'm gonna give it a dip in the water, get things flowing. I'm gonna tap on the paper towel so it's not all drippy. And we're gonna fill in our background first. Now, if you wanna do yours a different color, totally can. I'm gonna follow along um, with the colors on this one. And I'm gonna go in for a nice limey green. I'm just using this color just by itself and I'm gonna fill in all of my background. Once you have all of your background filled in, we're gonna wrap it around and we're gonna paint our side edges to match. Okay guys, so we are going to take our big brush, let's give it a scrub on the bottom of our cup. We're gonna dry it off, and we're gonna start filling in um, some bigger spaces, or our next biggest spaces. I'm gonna keep using my big brush, and I'm gonna start with my yellow. So I'm gonna put in the little chest, and this leaf with just this yellow by itself. 
So I'm filling in the chest, and then I'm gonna fill in that woolly. Okay, so I washed off my brush, I dried off my brush. After I fill in the little chest, the leaf, I'm gonna fill in this uh, next body color. So that color is going to be a mixture of purple, that's my purple. I'm gonna get a little scoop of that one, put it on the edge of my mixing plate, and a little bit of blue, that dark blue. And I'm gonna mix those together. This is a really pretty color. Kind of electric-y purple. And I'm gonna use this color to fill in the chest. Kind of that little piece of tail peeking through. And then I'm gonna add a little bit um, on some of the stripies on the beak. Let's switch brushes and find our small little round bristle brush. That's gonna make it a little easier to get in the smaller spaces. So for the tail, so the little pieces peeking through in between that plant at the bottom. And then I'm also gonna add that color to my stripes and the point of the nose. For my next few little spaces, I'm going to go back to my big brush and I'm going to fill in um, my big plant at the bottom here and that little eye. So that color is going to be a mix of hot pink, a little red, and a little bit of white. I'm gonna mix it together, see what you think. Kind of like a neon bubble gum color, it's cool. So whenever you get a color that you like, if you want yours a little bit more pink, a little bit more red, a little bit more white, go for it. Maybe a little bit more pink in mine. And once you have a color, we're gonna fill in this plant. I'm also going to fill in this little area around the eyeball, same color. I 
we're gonna let that dry a while. Um, to each of these, we're gonna come back and add a pattern. So our next little color to mix, let's mix up this dark blue over here. And I'm gonna switch over to my medium brush for this. This has a nice round bristle to it, so it's really nice for those rounder shapes. So that blue, we're gonna make a deep dark blue. And so I'm gonna add a little bit of black into mostly blue. I'm just mixing on the edge. If you wanna mix on a new spot, go for it. If it's a little easier to kind of control the color. So I have a really dark blue. It's like a, a navy blue, like a midnighty blue. And I'm going to fill in this little little plant over here. I'm going to fill in the main part of the stick here. You can also go over this little line in the middle. That's probably going to be a little easier with that small brush. It has a firmer bristle to it. Um, that medium brush is a little soft, so it's, it's a little tough to make lines with. So you can get a little bit of that same dark blue color. Just take it slow and just trace it a little bit. It's okay if it's kind of a thick line. And trace that part there. Since I have this color on this brush, I'm just gonna keep using this one and I'm gonna fill in my stick. So I'm going to, once I have this little um, little plant, I have my little stick over here, I'm going to come over here and fill in this one next. So I'm going to mix up kind of that tealy blue color. Um, that one is going to be some of the teal and a little of that dark blue. We're going to mix those together, see what you think. And then I'm going to add a little bit of white to it. And it's gonna give you this real pretty kind of aqua color. So I'm gonna use this color for this plant. I still have my small brush. I did wash it off and I did dry it off. And then you can trace the stick. I'm also going to use this color for the ends of the stick. And the little feet, the little claws. Mine's a little dark. I'm gonna add a little bit of white into it so I can see it a little bit more, get a little bit more contrast.
And then the last place I'm going to use this color is here in the middle. The rest of the beak. Just move it out. So I'm going to fill in these guys next. Those are my last little spaces of white. And I'm going to mix up a couple different kind of pinks and oranges. I'm going to keep using this brush because um, they're a little smaller. Um, so I'm going to wash off this brush. I'm going to dry it off. And this one over here is just hot pink and white. So I'm going to scoot a little hot pink over. I'm going to get a little white. I'm going to mix those together. It's going to get a really light pink. And I'm going to fill in this one. I washed off my brush, dried off my brush, and for that next one, I'm actually just going to add a little bit of yellow to that pink to give it a little bit of a like coral or orangey color, and I'm going to fill in this one. If you want to trace that little stem, you can trace that stem. Later on, I'm going to trace it in white. You can even do this one. Okay, so now that we have all of our biggest spaces filled in, we're going to start to pattern things. So um, right now the back, the background is the driest, so I'm going to start there. And I'm going to make polka dots. I don't know if you can see it. Polka dots. So find your little polka dot maker, your little dauber. And I'm going to do mine in white, but if you want to do a different color, I think the hot pink would be really cool. Uh, maybe a light yellow. Um, so whichever one you like. But I'm going to do a white. So I'm going to get a little dab and I'm going to tap off the extra on the edge of my plate. So just have a little bit. And then the trick to get a really nice circle, kind of press, twist a little bit before you lift. I'll do that again. Press, twist, lift. Press, twist, lift. And it gets you a nice, uh, nice edge on those little polka dots. I'm going to put them all around. So we have some polka dots. Um, we're going to fill in some more here. Let's go over here to our neck and our leaf. And I'm going to add some orange. So I'm going to mix up on my small little brush. So I have my small brush now. I'm going to get a little bit of red. And I'm going to add that over here to my yellow. And that's going to give you a nice orangey color, more yellow than red, a lot more yellow than red, gives you a nice orangey. Kind of twirl your brush on the edge, scrape off all that extra on the edge of your plate to smooth out your bristles, get you a nice thin line. 
And so on the little neck part here, I'm going to do short little kind of up and down lines, which is kind of like little feathers, little feather texture. And then I'm going to go over here to my leaf and I'm going to go around those edges. See it a little brighter if you're a little bit more on top of your orange than on your green background. Be able to see that orange. Then I'm going to put some lines in between. We'll come back in a little bit and put lots of little touches of white. I'm going kind of at an angle instead of straight out like that. I'm going to add an angle. And while I have this color, if there's any other spots you want to add, I did add a little bit on this little pink leaf. Just a little sweep of it. So I washed off my brush, I dried off my brush, and I'm going to add on this pink detail to the body, a little to the tail. And that's going to be um, mostly hot pink and a little bit of white. Just want to be able to see it but I still want that nice bright pink so I'm gonna mix just a little bit of white into mostly the hot pink I'm gonna scratch off my brush and then I'm gonna make kind of little U shapes so again kind of a feather texture feather pattern um, the tops of the U's are facing up a little bit more white in mine. If you can't see your little U-shapes, add a little bit more white. I'm adding a little bit more to mine. There we go. I'm also going to put a few little lines where my tail is kind of peeking through. It's a tiny little space. If you want these little U-shapes a little brighter, let's let them dry a little bit and then we'll go over them with a little bright pink. It's trying to cover up that darker color, so it might need a couple layers. I'm going to add a little white around my eye just so it has a little time to dry. So I'm going to take my small brush, I washed it off, I dried it off. I'm going to get a little bit of white, a little bit of white paint, and I'm just filling in the outer part of the eye first. And let that dry a little bit before we put in the center. Let's wash off our brush. And I'm gonna go into some dark blue next and add some details. So I'm gonna use um, this dark blue that I used for these little um, plants over here. So it's kind of that dark herb blue, that blue and black mixed together. And then I'm gonna kind of flip-flop the colors on here. So on this lighter plant, I'm going to put a little sweep, a little line of my darker blue. 
I'm also going to go down here to my big plant at the bottom and then I'm going to add kind of how we did those little feathery bits up here on the neck I'm gonna add them here kind of like uh, like an aloe vera plant has has that texture kind of little spikies almost and I'm gonna do little dashes up all the way along those leaves While I have this color on this brush, I'm also going to trace the edges. While I have this color on my brush, I'm also going to go up here to the beak and add those little stripies. So I'm going to start on this first one. I'm going just straight across, leaving a little space in between. I'm going to skip this one and I'm just kind of adding these to where that kind of tealy blue mixture is. And then lastly, I'm going to fill in that eyeball center. We'll let that dry a while before you put on that little white dot so it'll stick. I'm also going to add some of this light color to my darker colors too. So keep using your small brush. I washed it off. I dried it off. I'm going to find this teal and blue and white combination. And I'm going to put a little sweep on these. It's a little dark. I'm going to add a little bit more white so you can see it. There we go. Now I can see it. I'm also going to put a little bit of this color on my tree branch. And I'm going to make kind of curved lines. I'll show you that maybe on this one first, a little closer. So I have kind of curved lines and that makes the stick look a little bit more three-dimensional with the patterning. So kind of follow this little curve and I'm going to curve it back each time. Whenever it gets a little scratchy instead of pressing harder get a little bit more paint. I'm gonna wash off, same little brush, dry it off. I'm gonna use a little bit of hot pink by itself. And we're gonna add a little sweep to these orangey leafy pieces. And then I'm also gonna put a little bit of this hot pink on these little feather bits again, just to make them a little bit brighter. A little less see-through because I know it's a little tough to cover up a darker color with a lighter color sometimes. All 
Okay, so it looks like all we have left are just little sparkles of white. So I'm gonna keep using my small brush. I'm gonna go in with white paint for all these next little steps. And we add more patterns, we're gonna add some highlights. So I'm going in with just white paint. Let's put those other stripies on the beak. So on that bluey purpley color, I'm gonna add some stripes. And I'm gonna go the other way on this last little tip of the beak here. We'll stripe use that way. I'm also gonna add some white amongst the feathers on the neck, same way. It's okay if they touch, it's okay if they overlap a little bit. If you wanna add another color here, awesome, go for it. I'm gonna do that same texture over here to my plant at the bottom. dashes Okay, so we have, uh, just to recap, we have stripies on the beak. I put some dashes on the little neck, some dashes on the big plant at the bottom. I'm also gonna add some to the rest of my leaves. So I'm gonna keep using white. Smooth out your bristles. In between these little lines, I'm gonna put a little sweep, a little extra little line of white. I'm also going to put a little sweep on all my leaves, all with white. I still want to see all those other colors though, so I'm kind of trying to add it all where I don't cover too much of those other colors. I want to see all the colors. What color is the better? I'm going to do the same thing over here to these little leaves. You can also trace this little stem line if you haven't done so already. You can trace it in white. You can do a darker color. I did mine in white. And my last little step, that little sparkle in the eye. So we're gonna turn that brush around. We're gonna use that back handle into the white and just one dot, press and a lift, press, lift. Yay, a little life in those eyes. Now, those are all of our little painty steps. And don't forget your artist signature on the bottom here. I like to put my initial, an A and an R. Um, you can put a date, you can put your whole name. We do have glittery bits so if you wanted to um, we have a pink and we have a green I think this would be really cool maybe in the little feathers kind of press against drag trace oh that looks really neat so wherever you want just a little pop a little sparkle Use those glitter glues. Maybe it'll shine in the eye. I have that green 
also maybe in some plans or if you want just a little glimpse of shiny in your background thank you so much guys these are beautiful have so much fun with your shrink it dink um tropical leaf earrings and let me know if um you have any questions as we go along with these uh please we'd love to see your works so if you take any pictures or videos share with us we love to see thank you so much guys